Well, hey YouTube, FTRV here. It is our second port. We are in Skagway, Alaska. As you can see, it is uh, misty, cloudy. It's the middle of August and it is about, right now I think it's 56 degrees. It's supposed to get up mid 60s during the day, but who knows with the overcast. We actually rented a car for this trip so we can go off on our own. So stay tuned for that. Windy as windy can be. I don't know if you can see the rainbow out there. And this, of course, is some of the glacier water. Let's go find our car. What's nice is, is Dawn rented it and it's um, just gonna be sitting right here in this parking lot. We put a code in, get our keys, and then we just drop it off here. No checking in at a office or anything. Here's our ship ovation. And Celebrity Summit's in town, too. It's another uh, Royal Caribbean ship company, anyways. And there's the town. There's several different ways to see Skagway. One way is by train over there. We're in port for a decent amount of time today. We're going to do a car, but there's helicopter rides. There's... Um, water whatever they call them water planes you know the planes that land on water you can take but dawn did some research and she thought it best to just uh rent a van and go off on her own we're actually gonna cruise into canada today for a little bit look at the beautiful pine trees All right, so it's about a 10 minute walk to get to the parking lot where the rental vehicle is and also to get to downtown. Some people got these nice new beautiful Hondas. We got a 1940 drive about car rental. Thank you drive about. We're heading towards Car Cross, which I guess is in Canada. Yeah. Canadian border is 20 miles away. It's about an hour and a half. We're just gonna kind of stop along the way. There's supposedly a lot of things to see. So, so we've probably driven seven, eight miles outside of town. We just hit a sign that said no stopping, chance of avalanche. But it is getting foggier and foggier, and we've done nothing but go uphill since we got out of town. Just crossed into Canada. It's still foggy, not quite as bad. Look at that. Landscape. A lot of pine. Here we are. We're actually about 12 miles into Canada, but here's Fraser. Fraser, Canada. I guess the official entry point. Getting ready to go through customs. Skagway is also oh known boy. as the sunshine capital of the southeast Alaska. It gets only 30 inches of precipitation a year. The weight of glacial ice has left its mark on Skagway. A river of ice 5,000 feet thick is quite heavy. <laughs> That's where we're heading. Looks like a beautiful day. You can smell the pine just being out of the car. And that train I showed you earlier, it's basically kind of taking the same path we're taking, but they're taking it by train. You see the tracks. Look at the pines. God, look at that water. I guess that's all glacier water. How oh, beautiful. God. It does remind me a lot of when we went to Yellowstone and we were in like uh, Silvergate, Montana, and we took that uh, 
Beartooth Highway. You go up these huge mountains, thousands of feet above sea level. And then there's just big lakes. There's the Yukon Suspension Bridge. We're at about 5,800 feet. So we're actually not, we're probably around 3,500 feet. The peaks, that one's 5,500, Patty's Peak and TP Peak. But they're saying those peaks are 5,800. When we did the Beartooth Highway, we were at uh, 10,500 feet, so we were way up there. Evidently, there was a mudslide up ahead. <laughs> so we have to wait here for a pilot car to take us through. So this landslide happened maybe two weeks ago. There it is. In the Canadian town of Carcross. Obviously a very, very small town. So Carcross played an important role during World War II because it helped construct part of the Alaskan Highway and helped the U.S. get to uh, other areas of the Yukon. But as you can see, it is a very small town wedged on a big, beautiful lake in the middle of some mountains. A lot of people camping around here. Look how green. That's where I was just filming from here. Not much to Carcross Commons. That's certainly a little shop. Look, they put out blankets for people to use. That's kind of cool. She said the rice for your, for your, what you say on the way home? There's a train stop for the White Pass and Yukon Railway. And that will actually go right back to the uh, cruise port. Caribou Hotel. We're gonna hit the general store. Just stopped at the Matt's, what is that? Matthew watching general store and got some items. This is the older back end here. Well, not far from car cross not even a mile I don't think about a mile is the famous car cross desert look at this doesn't look like Canada does it evidently it's remnants of a past lake that was here some people those specs up there yeah look and people can take their uh four wheelers and things look at that so a desert with beautiful mountains in the background all right off to the next stop let's go in the van in the van here's emerald lake it is beautiful Different colors are created by the reflection of the sun. We've been ready to cross back over into the United States. And the fog is coming again. I guess it's clouds. Welcome to the USA. U.S. Customs, eight miles ahead. Here's the border right there. So look at this valley. Wow. I mean, you can still smell the pine. That is.
is way down there. God, you can just smell the pine. It smells so good. So we got about eight miles to get to Customs and then maybe another five miles to get to uh, back to Skagway. Crossing the Skagway River, heading into Skagway. Maddie. First to Broadway. This is a snow plow for the railroad. Now this is a quaint little town. This is pretty cool. Supposedly the Red Onion Saloon is where you can get a good duck fart. If you look up in the window, you'll see a red light. The saloon there used to be a brothel back in the day. Red Onion Saloon. Look at the turlets on the wall. Camp Skagway, number one. The Golden North Hotel. Try some Alaskan fried bread. Here we go, the fried dough. How is it? It just came out of the fryer, so. Can you hold it so? Oh my God. I'm trying. Can you rip me off a piece, Maddie, so I can try it with the sugar? Can I do that? Can I? Can I sugar? Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there. Fried dough. Seriously? I, it's hot. Which one is smaller when I'm probably going to have that. How is it? I have to do it in the It's delicious. It's all boardwalk. Here's the mascot. You just poured that on my car. And there's the ship straight ahead and the train that takes you up where we were. Skagway Brewing Company. You can skip the craziness of uh, Red Onion Saloon and come to Skagway Brewing Company. Cute place. Showed you from the outside. It's got a restaurant upstairs, a little beer garden over here. And get yourself a spruce tip lawn. Just a hint of spruce. Okay. Coming in hot, coming in hot. Jeez. All right, we're heading back on. 
before we head back on the ship more fun yesterday or today, today Sitka or today, Segway? Today, today, today. Yeah, by far, Segway was Segway. We took a Segway in Skagway, but Skagway is my favorite over Sitka. Yeah, Skagway, Skagway was fun. Cool little town. We had a nice little trip to Oh Canada. Renting a car was awesome. Yeah, 140 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. A lot cheaper than most of the um, Well, 180 when you throw in the $40 gas. 50, yeah. 50. Gas was 575 a gallon here in oil country. All right, well that's it. FTRV signing off. We will see you tomorrow in Juneau. Bye.